When a child learns to ride a bike for the first time, falling is inevitable. And every time the child falls, it cries and calls out for his mother. And each time the mother comes, she will console her child, help her child to get back on the bike again. But over time, the mother realizes that the more she does this, the more weak and vulnerable her child becomes. So to make her child strong, she understands that the next time he falls off the bike, she needs to stay back. No matter how much she wants to go up and hug her child and help him, she needs to stay back because the child has to learn to get back on the bike himself. And the first time that this happens, on that day the child realizes his inner strength and potential, that he can fall many times but he's perfectly capable of getting back up himself. And in this regard, our relationship with Allah is exactly the same. Allah knows that at times our heart grieves, we cry and we are in such pain because of our tests and hardships. But just like the mother, Allah keeps himself back because we need to learn that we have the strength to get back up again. We need to learn that our tests and hardships and our numerous failures do not define us and they cannot crush us. We have the potential to overcome everything and anything, but the only time we will realize this hidden strength that we have, the only time we will be able to unleash the true power of the Ruh that is inside of us is when Allah keeps sending us tests and hardships and we have to overcome them ourselves.